Oh, right. No better way to revive a dying channel than by partaking a dying trend. Am I right, boys? Ah, oh, welcome to this video. We're going to be doing the tier list. Do you know what a tier list is? Every fucker underneath the sun has done one. Except for me, apparently. So I'm finally doing one of my top... No, I've already done my top UK coasters, haven't I? I'm going to be doing the tier list of my UK coasters. So, uh, let's, let's get started with the big one. The big one. Uh, hmm. I'm a big defender of the big one because as forceless as it is, I guess, it's still a very good ride because I just like long janky shit. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an A because fuck you. The drop is very good. Colossus. Now Colossus this year is actually pretty good because I think it's had new wheels or something. It's making that insane like roar and oh i love it I, I don't love it but it's it's okay it's okay so i think i'm gonna, I'm gonna dump it in b for now dragon's fury cool see i wasn't gonna rank the smaller coasters but as you see i put vampire i've got vampire there as well i wanted to sort of represent Chessington. So uh, I've got Dragon's Fury here, but I haven't got Spinball. But I do prefer Spinball to Dragon's Fury. So I think, oh, because I'd put Spinball in B. But that doesn't feel right. Right, I'm gonna put that in B because, um, I don't know, don't ask me. Um, Galactica, hmm. See, this is another ride like Colossus that I feel like people shit on a bit too much and oh, I'm not going to give it an A because that's a bit too high I'm going to give it a B because I haven't been to Towers this year so I haven't seen how it's operating without the VR but I've heard it's running a hell of a lot better oh boy Icon enough said not even gonna not even gonna talk about it Nemesis Inferno oh I don't know where I'd put this one I mm, see it is a very good ride but, I don't know. I don't know where I'll put it. Hmm, fuck it. Fuck it, put it there. Put it there. Confusion. It's not that bad, but... Oh, it's an SLC. Everyone knows what fucking SLCs are. Nemesis. Oh, boy. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. It's an S-tier ride. It's... When it... Well, when it's running well... It's fucking mental. But when it's running slow, it's. Uh, I think I'd say Inferno's better. It, Inferno is definitely more consistent. But Nemesis as a whole, S tier. Oblivion. Ooh, this is a this is a bit of a controversial one, but I don't. I'm not a fan. It's just a drop and a turn. It's the biggest one trick pony ever. And speaking of one trick ponies, I've got Revolution. But I'm gonna put Revolution there because at least Revolution does more than just drop and then do a turn. Revolution, you get some actual like feelings on it other than just airtime. Rita. Cool. This is another one. This is, I feel like I like a lot of rides that people shit on and then I shit on rides that a lot of people like. But Rita, I think I'm gonna put it in C tier because it's it's good, but it's it's a bit bit naff in it. Saw. Saw is going to go in the A tier because I really, really like it. It's a good ride. It's probably the most complete ride of the thought in terms of like feels, it feels like it doesn't need anything else sort of to it. It feels like it, it's perfect. Not perfect, but it's, it's good. Shockwave at Drayton Manor. That's going in the D tier because I do not, I'm not a big fan of the stand up coasters. Stealth. I'm, no, 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 no. Stealth goes in the A tier. It's good, but it's not, it's not Icon or Nemesis, is it? Or Saw. It's, it's nowhere near. Swarm. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of the Swarm. I think I might put it in the B tier. Because I find it very, very boring, 
and it's actually got quite rough this year. I, I don't complain about roughness usually, but it's just like an uncomfortable roughness where it's just sort of bouncing around the track, and it's just not its not nice to ride. And speaking of, uh, of rough rides, but I don't give a shit. Smiler, it's not rough, it just has the pump on the Cobra roll. But, um, Smiler, god tier, such a good ride. Such a good ride, mate. Next, 13. Oh, think, yeah. I'm gonna put 13 in the B tier, because it's a, it's a good ride, but, like, it hasn't got shit on all the other, on the A tier rides, has it? Like, people shit on 13 quite a lot, but, again, I'm a, I'm a fan of it. I dig it, I dig it. And then, Vampire. Oh, mm, oh, I'm gonna put it there, because it's not, yeah, it's a classic, but like, it doesn't do anything, really does it. It has like one forceful moment. It doesn't, it has some nice terrain, I guess, but, <laughs> come on. And then finally, Wicker Man. Hmm, yeah. I'm gonna put Wicker Man in the S tier. Because it's such a complete package. It's got the theming. It's got a nice story. It's a good ride. It's it's god tier. It's god. In terms of a an overall experience, I prefer it to every single ride on this list. But in terms of the actual layout, these three are better.